morning. This is a statement on behalf of Clara Ponsetti following the extradition court hearing at Edinburgh Sheriff Court this morning. A preliminary hearing has been fifth, fixed for the 5th of March and a full extradition hearing. Extradition hearing is provisionally fixed for the 11th of May for a four week period. There are a number of issues that were raised and submitted at court today. There are two preliminary issues which arise as a result of Brexit. The first is the status of the European arrest warrant following the 31st of January. The second and more pressing preliminary issue is the effect of Brexit on the United Kingdom's membership of the European Parliament. When the United Kingdom leaves Europe on the 31st of January, its MEPs will lose their seats. At present, Spain is due to be awarded five extra seats. If that is so, then Clara Ponsetti is on the list to be one of the five MEPs and will become an MEP shortly after the 31st of January and therefore she will have immunity. On the 16th of January, the Spanish authorities petitioned the European Parliament to waive the immunity held by Puigdemont and Comen. The Spanish authorities ought to withdraw the warrant against Clara if and when she becomes immune. But given their past actions in relation to the others who have taken up their post, this is not likely to happen. Accordingly, when Clara becomes an MEP, an assessment will require to be carried out as to how this will affect the warrant proceedings, especially if once again Spain shows no respect for the rule of international law. The issue of the competence of the warrant is also taken into account. It is submitted that the present warrant lacks clarity and nothing said to have been done by Clara can be identified as a criminal offence. The issue of dual criminality, it is submitted that the offences identified in the European arrest warrant are not extradition offences. It is submitted that the specific actions of Clara cannot be classified as a crime of treason. The crime of sedition was abolished in 2011 because those archaic offences are redundant and unnecessarily limit freedom of speech. When the UK Parliament abolished sedition, it sent a powerful signal to the states around the world that routinely use such laws to imprison their critics and silent dissent. The warrant does not set out a fair and accurate representation of the events of September and October 2017. It fails to note the injury to thousands of peaceful protesters and fails to note the international condemnation of excessive use of force by Spanish civil guard and national police officers. On the question of statutory bars, we submit the extradition is barred because the warrant was issued for the purpose of prosecuting and punishing Clara for her support for Catalan self-determination. It is submitted that Spain has breached its international obligations and has misused the European arrest warrant for political ends. On the issue of human rights, which are central to this case, it is submitted that the extradition of Clara would be incompatible with the European Convention on Human Rights and incompatible, specifically in relation to Article 5, the right to security and liberty, Article 6, the right to a fair trial. It is contended that Clara will not have a fair trial as the prosecution is political and the Supreme Court in which this case will be heard is politically motivated and any trial therefore before it would not be independent and would be not be impartial. Article 7. No punishment without law. It is submitted that the right to self-determination is protected by Article 1 of the United Nations Charter and Article 1 of the 1966 United Nations Covenant on Human Rights. The actions of Clara did not constitute a criminal offence either under national or international law, nor would it be considered criminal in civilised nations. Article 10, the freedom of expression, and Article 11, the freedom of assembly. On the issue of abuse of process, it is submitted that Spain has misused state power and that Spain has abused the process of the European arrest warrant to seek the extradition of Clara for political purposes rather than the prosecution of crime. Clara is determined to take on the Spanish state and to expose injustice at its heart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.